Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft. Now, I did see on Facebook the other day that I've got um, a video coming, oops, sorry, that was my tripod, about kitchen roll. Now I'm just totally blown away by this. Now I have to say that I got an email from a lady, oh damn, I think it was Avalon's Attic, and I can't remember her name, I'm so sorry, but she emailed me saying, I should try this technique. She saw it on a video from Split Coast Stampers. Um, so I will put that video link below. And I watched that and I thought, mm. now the guy who did it, he used paper napkins and just like plain white ones. And I thought, well, oh, I don't have any of them. And then I thought, mm, I'm gonna try it with kitchen roll and oh my God, it works. It is absolutely incredible. And I'm gonna show you a little example I've got here. How amazing is that though? That is all made with nap with kitchen roll. I'll show you a bit close up. And then I started thinking of other ways that I could use, do things with it, um, by embossing it, adding um, gilding wax, glitter, all sorts of stuff. And I just think that's incredible. And what it gives you is this sort of like puffy sort of, the really puffy and it's just absolutely incredible. It really, really is. So I'm going to show you how to do this because it is amazing. Now, I've got some kitchen roll and I'm just going to fold it in half so that I would have two layers. Then I'm going to fold it again so I would have, and would I have, yeah, I would have four layers and then Actually, it's probably enough, but I suppose we could fold it again and see how this would work. So that's all you do. Don't worry about the little patterns on the kitchen roll. It makes no difference whatsoever. Now, a couple of tips. I wouldn't use really intricate dies. It struggles to cut them. But these ones were leaf dies that I've used. Um, I use these quite a lot and you probably know and I get asked a lot about them and all I know is they're from Tattered Lace. It was a set of leaf dies which was them, not them. Um, but yeah, they're from Tattered Lace and I love these. I use them so much as you probably know if you watch my videos. So that's what was that one was made with. Now I'm going to grab a couple of poinsettia dies. Now these have an outside and an inside. So I'm going to run these through my machine. Now I'm going to run them through about backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards a couple of times, okay? And I've got some little leaves here as well. I might even do this one as well. Yeah, so I know I haven't got them quite lined up yet, but it's just to run them through the die cutting machine. And I'll just use my regular Big Shot. Only reason I haven't got the fold away is because it's on the other desk, no other reason. And just die cut them as if you would with regular, <laughs> that's clever, isn't it? With regular dies, but run them through about four times. So I'll sort these out, run them through, and I'll be back. Right, I've run them through and I've kept them in this so you can see. Obviously, it really flattens the um, kitchen paper. Don't be worried about that. Now, these have cut really well, so they're just kind of, see, now you might get a couple that don't and um, if that happens just peel off how it wants to come off and just leave that bottom layer it doesn't matter really some some cut really well others you may have to run them through again or 
just peel a bit of the one of the layers off so they actually haven't cut too bad so this is what we end up with now we're going to do i'm going to do a couple of little things to show you so i've done a few of these already now look at these because in a way <clears throat> if you look really closely they look like fabric to me they really do because you've got that wrinkled sort of effect which is the the, the kitchen paper wrinkles up when it's wet and it creates this sort of wrinkly fabric effect i think they really look like fabric so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take i've got a couple of watercolor brushes here i love these watercolor brushes now i've got some watercolor paints um, I got these a while ago on Amazon and they are really nice, really good paints. Um, you get the brush with them as well and the, the really thick and creamy so if you have them, brilliant. If you're looking for watercolour paints, I'll put them. Um, these ones I got free from Arteza. They're quite good as well. And also you may remember a while ago we did a video with these amazing things you can also use these as well but today i'm going to use these i'm just going to quickly show you so you need water and i'm going to take another bit of kitchen roll just to dry my little brush up so i've just got a cup of water here I'm going to wet my brush and I'm going to do this little one here. Now, I think I'm just going to go straight in with a red. But yeah, these paints are so nice. And then, can you see, obviously with it being kitchen paper, it just absorbs it absorbs it so quickly and then that's what causes the wrinkly effect because when it wrinkles up it's absorbing all of the moisture the water and it just looks absolutely incredible can you see that there so we'll do that one and then I'll quickly speed this up while I paint the rest of these. so I've colored the three poncettas and the little leaves now I recommend getting a heat tool um, and just giving them a little dry probably if you don't have one you could use a hairdryer I can't see why that wouldn't work either so I'll quickly dry these off okay now what I'm going to do is I've got some of the Debbie Moore print magic this is winter lake I've got some clear embossing powder as well we're going to do we're going to do both of these now I've got um, an embossing ink but I keep this one for like you know dirty sort of grubby projects like this where we're going to get messy so I'm going to pop just take the flower color side down just press it in your ink pad okay 
and then we've got this bigger one we'll do this as well Okay, so I'm going to do the smaller one with the print magic. I'll put the links to all of these under my video, so I love this stuff. You probably see me using it quite a bit. And then tap off the excess. That is going to be amazing when that's done. So I'm going to put this, no actually I'm going to do a couple of leaves with this I think. And then I'm going to put this away And we're going to try one with a clear embossing powder because obviously I understand everybody might not have print magic. Okay. Try the last one, the little one as well. I'm going to heat set on camera I'll do the print magic in a clear one now what I have found as well when you heat emboss in them obviously the may still be a little bit damp especially like inside or underneath it does take longer to heat set them because a couple of times I thought this is not working it is it's just because the may be still damp so just be wary that you may have to heat emboss them for longer than you would regularly so we'll do the print magic Okay, that is the print magic. Where did I put my little tweezers? There they are, because this will be really, really hot. So that is the print magic. Isn't that just beautiful? So the print magic then we've got the clear embossing powder okay there's the embossed one which has just really made it more glossy and um, but I, I could imagine you could put glossy out accents on as well and then I've got the rest of these so I'll quickly do these and I'll be back okay now be very very careful when you pick these up because they will be absolutely scalding because we've been heat embossing them for quite a while there's the pretty little leaves it is just absolutely beautiful now this one these few here had gilden wax on them I just took gilden wax I made the flower center with my Eben sorry Eden gold marker now this one here was just the Debbie Moore print magic 
so I did this one and again my gold marker in the middle now this one is really really puffy just like really puffy it's just beautiful I do think in a way it looks like fabric now I've also done le more leads here I've um, added this was actually the gold paint the watercolor paint that I added on the top of that one another little leaf here and these ones I just put some Nouveau drops on just to create like you know little berries and I just had a good old play around now I also did a one and I can't find it where I coloured it with an alcohol marker and it worked and then I just put some of the spectrum sparkle stuff on like the glittery clear thing and it, it looked really nice so you can use your alcohol markers so what I'm going to do that one just looks so so glossy yeah it's cool now but that is so glossy that's the clear embossing powder so I'm going to make this one into a card um, I'm going to do a nice Christmas card with these and I'll be back after that but yeah that isn't that just absolutely beautiful it was just painted with green and bits of orange maybe it's a bit of red and I heat embossed it with the Debbie Moore print magic and that is just gorgeous so I'm going to make a quick card for Christmas and I'll be back when it's done okay so I've done a really really simple but pretty card I've just used the poncettas and I've just put them all the way along the top I've added some of them beautiful sparkly leaves that we did and I've just added a little sentiment along the bottom but I definitely think some of them do look like fabric I think this is amazing and it's great because say if you want a watercolor but maybe you're not confident enough this soaks the watercolour up so it's so quick and easy and you don't have to worry so much about you know blending the colours and things like that but you can get different effects by you know that was just watercolour and gilding wax embossing powder and um, print magic uh, this is my favourite I love the way these leaves have turned out um, I don't know you may be able to think of something else you can try but yeah absolutely love this so thanks for watching take care and bye for now mm -hmm.